Now we are going to summarize uh, what we obtain for uh, circular waveguides for both transverse electric and transverse magnetic modes. Uh, as I mentioned before, there are some uh, quantities which are common for all types of waveguides, uh, such as the propagation wave number of the material is omega square root mu epsilon. Uh, the cutoff wave number for the transverse electric mode is B dash Nm over A. The cutoff wave number for the transverse magnetic mode Nm is B Nm over A, where B dash is the root of the first derivative of the basal function of order n and m here is the number of this root b is the root of the basal function directly not uh, the derivative beta the propagation wave number equals square root k squared minus kc squared which is the same for both t and tm uh, the cutoff wavelength equals 2 pi over kc the guided wavelength is 2 pi over beta. The phase velocity is omega over beta. And the attenuation coefficient due to the dielectric loss is k squared 10 delta over 2 beta. Actually, these parameters are the same for all of that, except what is the value of kc here. Okay? Now, for transverse electric mode, the field components are given by this. First of all, we don't have EZ. So we start from HZ and the transverse component E rho, E pi, H rho, H bar are given as follows. On the other hand, for the transverse magnetic mode, we have EZ, but we don't have HZ. And the transverse field components are given as follows. Uh, the wave impedance for the transverse electric mode is k eta over beta, while the, trans, uh, the transverse magnetic wave impedance is beta eta over k. Here we have uh, an example for the attenuation coefficient for different modes and the corresponding cutoff wave or cut frequencies uh, assuming that the value of A is 2.4 centimeters we have the cutoff frequency of the dominant mode which is TE11 mode around 3.5 gigahertz for example can be noted that the attenuation coefficient of the dominant mode is the lowest in this case, uh, the following mode is transverse magnetic 0 1 mode. So, in this frequency band, in this frequency band, in this region, in this frequency band, we have only propagating mode which is TE1 1 mode. But above this frequency, we have two modes, TE1 mode and TM01 mode. And as I mentioned before, it is preferred to use the waveguide in a single mode. So, in this case, it should be used above the cutoff frequency of the lowest mode and below the cutoff frequency of the following mode. Here, the following mode is TM01 mode. And it can be noted that the attenuation coefficient of the transverse electric mode is less than the attenuation coefficient of the transverse magnetic mode. This can be explained uh, due to that in the transverse magnetic mode, uh, we have uh, H5, uh, H5 component greater than H5 component in uh, the transverse electric mode. Uh, the following mode is TE01 mode, and it should be noted we don't have 10, we have 01 mode here.
okay and in general the attenuation coefficient of the transverse electric modes is usually less than the transverse magnetic modes uh, an example find the cut frequencies of the first two propagating modes in a Teflon field circular waveguide with radius A equals 0.5 cm if the interior of the guide is gold plated calculate the overall loss in dB for 30 cm operating at 14 GHz uh, I remember Teflon it has a dielectric constant is 2.08 so the cutoff frequency for the TE11 mode is B11 dash C over 2 by A square root epsilon R. Epsilon R of the Teflon is 2.08. B11 dash is the root of G1 dash, the first root of G1 dash, which is 1.841 for the table of BNM dash. C is the wave velocity of light in free space, 3 multiplied by 10 to the power 8, which actually 1 over square root mu naught epsilon naught, and 2 by A here is 0.5 centimeter, so 0.5 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 2 is 0.005 A square root epsilon r 2.08. Uh, so the cutoff frequency of T11 mode is 12.19 GHz. In a similar steps, we can obtain the following mode is TM01 mode, where TM01 mode, the cutoff frequency is B01C over 2 by A square root epsilon R. B01 is the root of the first root of J0 of X. The first root of G0x is 2.405. So in this case, the cut frequency is 15.92 gigahertz. Now it is required to obtain uh, the overall loss at 14 gigahertz. 14 gigahertz is greater than 12.19 and less than 15.92. This means that at 14 GHz, the only propagating mode is TE11 mode. So, in this case, we are going to calculate the value of K at 14 GHz. K would be omega over C multiplied by square root epsilon r. Omega 2 by the frequency, 2 by 14 multiplied by 10 to the power 9 square root epsilon r 2.08 over c 3.8 c 3 uh, multiplied by 10 to the power 8 this is the value of k from the value of k we obtain the value of beta the propagation constant beta would be square root of k squared minus b11 dash over a squared so, in this case, it would be 1.841 over 0 0.005 squared. So, this is the value of beta. From the value of k and the value of beta, we can obtain the attenuation coefficient due to the dielectric loss, alpha dielectric, <coughs> is k squared over 2 beta, 10 delta. 10 delta for the Teflon is 0 0.004. And already we have the value of k and we have the value of beta. So we can obtain the attenuation coefficient due to the dielectric loss, which is 0.172 neighbor per meter. If you are interested to find it in dB, we are going to multiply it by 8.6. So it would be 1.49 dB per meter. On the other hand, for the conductor loss, we are interested in calculating the surface resistance. The surface resistance is the square root of omega mu naught over 2 sigma. And it is mentioned that 
the waveguide is coated with gold. The conductivity of gold is 4.1 multiplied by 10 to the power 7 Siemens per meter. So by applying the conductivity of gold, and mu naught is actually 4 by multiplied by 10 to the power minus 7 omega is 2 by the frequency and the frequency is 14 gigahertz so we can calculate the surface resistance by calculating the surface resistance we can calculate the attenuation coefficient due to the conductor loss in the transverse electric 1 1 mode as r surface over a k eta beta multiplied by kc squared plus k squared over b1 dash squared minus 1 kc squared is actually b11 dash over a beta we already calculate beta eta is 120 by over square root epsilon r epsilon r here is 2.08 because we are talking about teflon k is the propagation wave number we already calculated a is 0.005 our surface we already calculated so from these values we can obtain the cutoff or sorry uh, the attenuation coefficient due to the conductor loss alpha c is 0.0672 never per meter by multiplying it by 8.6 we obtain it in terms of db per meter now we have the attenuation coefficient due to the conductor loss and the attenuation coefficient due to the dielectric loss so the total attenuation coefficient would be the attenuation coefficient due to the dielectric plus the attenuation coefficient due to the conductor in terms on db so by summing this value with the previous value in this value in db meter we obtain the total attenuation coefficient in db per meter. Now, assuming that we have 30 centimeters of this waveguide, so the attenuation of this 30 centimeters would be the value of the lens L multiplied by the attenuation coefficient alpha. So, this 2.07 multiplied by 0.3, which is 30 or 0.3 meter, 30 centimeter we have the attenuation of this 30 cm to be 0.62 dB. This is the attenuation due to this section of this waveguide at the frequency 14 GHz. Okay. All right.